Okay guys, so football season is back. A new English Premier League campaign is underway and the Kestrel EPL Roadshow is hitting the road once again beginning 13th of August covering various locations in Johor, Klang Valley as well as Penang. Now, if any of you guys have recently purchased Kestrel lubricants from participating outlets, you can go to these roadshows Take part in a penalty contest and you stand a chance to win Castrol merchandises that I'm listing here in the screen now. And also remember, during this period, if you purchase Castrol lubricants, you stand a chance to win an all expenses paid trip for two to the UK to watch an English Premier League game live at the stadium not in front of a TV not at a bar but in the stadium itself so your next oil change could very well win you the experience of a lifetime good luck and if you win remember to join me okay okay guys so what you just saw is an Alpha GTV that has spent the last two years of MCO here. Right. So the owner contacted us and asked if we can help uh, bring this car back to life. So that's going to be our new project. And uh, we've gotten the car on the flatbed. So it was a bit of a challenge getting it up here because uh, two years never start, right? The brake pump, the clutch pump were all jammed. The brake pistons also were jammed. So the wheels, even though after we free gear, after we release the handbrake, the wheels were practically locked in place. The car cannot be moved. So we had to rock the car back and forth a bit, all right, to free, to free up the locking at the brakes. And that allowed the car to be to free roll and uh, Thankfully, because it was parked at ground floor, we can roll the car out here where the tow truck can pull it up the, bit, the flat bit. Okay, so uh, I'll be working once again with Douglas, the, the man who is currently working on our E30 project. Uh, he's taken this, this car up and uh, we are looking forward to uh, restore this car back to its uh, former glory. Alright. So, this Alpha 2000 GTV is here, uh, brought here to Douglas Garage. And, uh, well, there's nothing much to do with the bodywork now, okay? The priority with this car is to get the drivetrain, the chassis unstuck, alright? Uh, the chances are the bushes will all need to be refreshed. Uh, oils need to be fully transfused a full fluid transfusion and uh, we'll see whether can we get the engine started okay uh, I mean the paint work is in is in decent shape lah. Uh, not perfect there's a bit of wear at the edges around it but it's it's still good right it's not something that urgently needs fixing unlike our uh, e30 project that we worked on here earlier these momo wheels well, they look absolutely gorgeous with the car and uh, visually, they give the impression that they are relatively lightweight items, you know, of the period. But by God, man, this car is, is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous to behold. Okay guys, so let's bring you guys on a tour of the undercarriage. So this is the engine oil sump. Now this metal cage here, this is not original. This is uh, welded on by one of the past owners of this car. Could be the current owner, we don't know, but this is an add-on. All right, uh, very popular mod designed to protect the oil sump from undercarriage damage. Because you can see the oil sump protrudes quite a bit down. All right, so uh, the idea maybe is that to protect the oil sump uh, from undercarriage collision damage. Now, the suspension we have uh, inspected, the suspension also, all these bushes are all quite badly worn. And here's another interesting thing. There's actually supposed to be a cap on top here to cover this nut. So these caps 
are missing on both sides let me just show you on another car now this is another gtv that uh, douglas and his teams are working on notice here and here they are the metal caps all right covering the nut these caps are designed to be fitted permanently and every time when you need to change the arm or the bushings uh, you will replace a new cap over it as well so let's go back to our car okay so coming back to our project car now uh, as we move further back you can see this is the transmission all right that's where the transmission is mount one of the transmission mounts are uh, here right here you can see that's the brake pump that's the clutch pump so this alpha gtv from the 1970s is already running on a hydraulic clutch now we can see here the um, the wiring is a bit messy all right and uh well as you can as expected uh, cars this age uh there will be some uh, mess here and there uh, this is to be expected the exhaust pipe is rusted but this is not something that we are prioritizing at the moment because our priority now is to ensure that this car can be safely started all right uh the engine can crank and it, the, and it can be driven now uh what we have what douglas has found out is that the engine is now stuck all right by right usually right uh an engine uh you are a you sh by putting a screwdriver here at the flywheel area you are able you are able to get with a bit of strength lah, to get the engine to move slightly but this one even with substantial strength the engine does not move we do not want to force it because we, we are worried that uh, the engine may be jammed so we are proposing to the owner that we may need to do a top overhaul open up the cylinder heads and check the condition of the pistons now we move further back you can see here we have the rear diff all right this is a solid axle rear diff but with trailing arms at the back okay uh coil was springs as well so the handling of this car i believe should be quite likely because i've never driven one of these before okay live excel design but uh ought to make for a pretty lively car to drive all right so uh that's all the update now of this uh alpha gtv project so we will check back in as uh which so that's all the updates we have for this car right now we'll check back in later as uh as repairs on this car progresses